Hi, today I'm gonna to share with you the three steps that I took to increase the temperature of my 45,000 gallon in-ground pool by over 30 degrees using nothing but solar heating. So the idea behind solar heating is pretty simple. You take the heat that the sun naturally provides and you transfer that heat directly into your pool. Uh, in essence, it's a, it's a low cost system that's gonna heat your pool. When you compare a solar heating system to a traditional gas or electric system, uh, the, the costs are fairly minimal. There's virtually no upkeep that you need after you install. When you compare that to a traditional gas or electric system, you have your utility bill that you have to deal with, uh, which is gonna be an on ongoing cost. One of the other great things about the solar heating system is it increased the uh, swim season for me. Be previously, my swim season was basically the summer months where I only had a few months uh, to swim and even then without the uh, solar heating system in place or any heating system in place, it was fairly difficult to go swimming at such a uh, cold temperature. Typically in the summer, the, without a heating system, my pool would be 62 to 65 degrees, which was, just wasn't realistic or tolerable. Now the swim season uh, is um, uh, essentially from the beginning to mid-April all the way to the end of October, sometimes early November. I've had the solar uh, heating system in place for the last two years uh, and it's been working great for me. So let me take you over to uh, my pool now and uh, show you uh, what the temperature uh, was when I took it in early, uh, early March or mid-March uh, and what it is now. Uh, keeping in mind that this is still, hang on a sec. Keeping in mind that this is uh, still early in the swim season, it's, uh, it's May, where um, it's uh, just past Memorial Day, so the, the swim season uh, is just getting started. That I'm not hitting peak temperatures in my pool just yet. All right, so let me first flash on screen what the temperature was uh, in mid-March. So you can see there it's about 55 degrees, uh, just not tolerable, and this is before applying any uh, heating during the off-season. Uh, now let me show you the, what, the, what the heating system looks like uh, now. So hang on just a second. While I get down to my pool. All right, let me flip this here. Coming up and uh, see if you can see that there. We're in the, uh, about 82 degrees shown there uh, out of the pool. Um, and like I said, we're still, I'm still expecting another five to 10 degrees um, once the, uh, the, the heat of the summer kicks up. All right, so let me uh, tell you what the first step was that I took. So initially I added a uh, solar uh, blanket or solar pool cover. Uh, so there was two uses that this does. So when you add a solar pool cover to cover your pool completely, um, the, well, the first most important thing that it does is it helps retain the heat that, that your system initially produces. So if, if your pool heats up at night, you don't want to lose all that heat through evaporation. Uh, you want to continue to heal your pool progressively as it gets warmer and throughout the, the, the summer and the, the warm days. You want to absorb as much heat from the sun as possible and retain that in your pool. Secondly, if you look closely at a solar pool cover, and I'll take you closely here, you'll see, here's my solar cover. You'll see that there are these um, it's, uh, it has these little bubbles, and each of those bubbles uh, does help transfer some of the heat from the sun directly into your pool, warming it a bit, a few degrees. It isn't uh, terribly critical, but it does help both in taking in some heat as well as retaining the heat. So let me, let me give you a good, good look of what my pool looks like. So here's the entrance there, part in the glare, and then it goes down. By the way, here as I mentioned, it's a 45,000 gallon in ground pool. I've got it covered, majority covered. I do have where the stairs are not covered, uh, so I am losing a little bit of heat there. Uh, so that that was step one, uh, being able to retain the heat. Now the second step that I took to increase the temperature of my pool was to to add a, a solar pool heater. Now you'll see a lot of these uh, prefabricated on some of the big box stores or online retailers. Um, there. They're these wide blanket looking plastic sheets um, that you connect to your system. You let the, the sun beat down on it. It absorbs the heat and pushes it back into your pool. Uh, so that was the second step that I took. It, it, that, that piece helped quite a bit. It did what warm up my, po my, my pool quite a bit. So the thing that you wanna make sure to, to, to do for both the solar heater as well as the solar blanket 
is you want to make sure that you take a look at the reviews, see what other people are saying about those. You don't necessarily need to buy the most expensive uh, item. The solar pool heater that, excuse me, the, the solar blanket that I bought was mid-tier um, and it works pretty well. Uh, same for the solar pool heater. I, got, I purchased one that was more heavily favor, fav favorable reviews uh, to help uh, with the heating of the system. Uh, so let me show you how what I did to get it connected. So really the, these systems lay out flat um, and absorb the sun. But what I need to do is get uh, get it in the sun and I need to get water pumping through it. So uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, connect these directly to their to their pool pumps and that caused some issues. What I did is I connected uh, the, the prefabricated heater to uh, my pool return. So let me put this around and you can see here I've got right under, I'm just going to move the, the solar blanket for a minute here. If you look down there, you can see I've got uh, a return and uh, I've got uh, some, some PVC uh, hooked up to it. And, um, and you'll also see I have an on and off switch. I'll talk about that in just a minute. The way it's set up is uh, on return on the pool, it'll return through the pool here. And as it returns, you can see that there, I, have, I have a PVC pipe that goes up. It comes, comes along here and it goes up, ultimately going to the top of my deck. Um, and uh, as I quickly mentioned, uh, I have sort of this on and off switch. What that allows me to do is when, the, when it's uh, warm outside and I want to absorb the heat, I can open it, I can uh, shut it up, uh, shut it down, let the, uh, divert the water straight through to the solar uh, pool heater, you get that absorbed and absorb that heat into my pool. When it's say nighttime and I'm running the, the pool pump, I don't want to necessarily run that because the, the ambient temperature is clo uh, colder than my pool, so I can just open it up and let it function as a, as a uh, standard return. Okay, now let me show you what the, what the pre prefabricated uh, solar heater looks like. All right, you can see here, right on my deck, the returns, the PVC returns, and it goes down to the to my pool, right, right, right there. You can kind of see it right there. There's a there's a pipe that returns um, the water. Now, if you take a look here on the top of my deck, I've got these prefabricated uh, pool heaters. Uh, so these are the ones that you buy from the big box stores or online retailers. Uh, and really, it just sits here on the top of my deck. It absorbs the the heat from the sun, uh, and it, it heats the sun up uh, pretty well. Now, the first year I, I had the, the prefabricated system and it did increase the temperature in my pool, but not as much as I wanted it to. I wanted it, um, uh, you know, comfortably mid 80s. Uh, so what I did as a step three is I added some additional uh, heating elements. Uh, rather than use a prefabricated heater, I used uh, copper. So you'll see here, I added right after the, the prefab uh, heater, it goes through some copper piping. I, have it, I added about 35 feet of copper piping that absorbs the, the uh, temperature of the sun, uh, just like a solar, solar pool heater should. Uh, and from there, it uh, shoots that back into my pool and that's how I was able to get the 30 degree um, increase in, in uh, my, my pool temperature. Uh, so uh, for myself, I'm not a you know, licensed plumber. I, um, I was fairly new to PVC uh, gluing uh, uh, when I started this, this project, but I was able to, using these three steps, the solar uh, blanket, the prefabricated heater, as well as the, uh, the addition of the copper heating, these three, three steps, I was able to increase the temperature of my uh, pool by over 30 degrees. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something from it uh, based on my experiences. Be sure to, to leave something in the comments and let me know um, if you have any questions on my system and how, it, how it's working, or if you have questions on, on uh, potentially getting something like this installed in your system. Uh, and, uh, uh, and thanks for watching, bye.